Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the what is in my hospital bag uh, for me and my husband and then what is in the baby's hospital bag as well. I know I probably overpacked, but being a first time mom, I'd rather feel overprepared than underprepared. So I know a lot of this stuff probably doesn't seem um, necessary or that I'm just bringing you way, way too much. But again, I just would rather feel like I have too much than not enough. But if you guys did notice that I missed anything that you think I'd really like to have at the hospital or really need to have at the hospital, please leave your suggestions down below. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll start with the stuff for me and my husband. The first thing that um, I want to bring is just a big blanket. This is one of my favorite blankets um, and um, my husband will probably sleep with this you know when he stays the night but I also wanted to bring it for myself to uh, just in case the hospital did suggest that you bring your own blanket and pillow so we are gonna bring a big blanket and um, our own pillows as well. So this is the duffel bag that I have for us. I don't even know how I'm going to fit this in the frame, but it's a big, like, uh, Victoria's Secret duffel bag. Um, so it has a couple pockets on the outside here. I don't have anything in this pocket. And then there is a zippered pocket around the other side here, right here. And in there, I think I have, yeah, I have just a bunch of big pads. I know that they say the hospital provides these, but I just wanted to bring a few just in case. Um, again, I just want to feel over-prepared instead of under-prepared. So I know those probably won't be necessary, but I just want to have them just in case. So going into the large main pocket. So for my husband, um, I have a pair of jeans for uh, going home for him. I also have a sweatshirt packed for him in case it gets cold in the hospital or what. Um, just a nice cozy, you know, hooded sweatshirt. I also packed him a pair of shorts and a pair of sweatpants. Again, that's probably not necessary. Just so he feels most comfortable if it's really hot or it's really cold, he can kind of decide, you know, if he wants to wear shorts or sweatpants or whatever. So that's why I did that. Um, as far as clothes for me, I honestly didn't pack too much. I was proud of myself. So, for going home, I have a pair of maternity leggings. I'm bringing a couple of nursing tanks, and I'll probably just wear one of these home with the leggings, but I'll have, um some to wear in the hospital as well. And then I got this big sweater from Target. I will be wearing this home, but I also thought that this would be really nice when I'm up um, walking around at the hospital. Um, just something to kind of throw, you know, over my gown. I know a lot of people say to bring a robe, but I just felt like this for me was more useful. I don't really wear robes a whole lot, so I thought this would be nice. The same purpose as a robe to cover up but something a little um, just more practical that I can wear, you know, out and about. So it's just an ivory colored knit sweater. It's really, really big and baggy and long and it has nice big pockets. So I thought that this would be perfect for just walking around the hospital or if I get cold laying in the hospital bed or whatever. And then I probably will wear this on the way home as well with the leggings in one of the nursing tanks. I also bought us a new six foot cell phone charger. I wanted to get a really long one, you know, cause I'm not really sure where the outlets are be. I'm sure they're not gonna be the most convenient, you know, right there ready to use. So I got a huge long charger that we can both share. I figured one will be plenty. Our batteries last for quite a long time anyways. Um, and if I do remember, I'll grab, you know, one of ours from the bedside table here. So we do have two, but I wanted to get a new one to keep in the hospital bag because I can see this something that's really easy to forget. So I got us a cell phone charger. As far as shoes, I only packed like shower shoes because we're both going to be, you know, getting to the hospital in shoes. Um, I didn't really feel the need to pack extra shoes so I just have a pair 
of flip-flops that I can wear in the shower for me. And then I have a pair of just like, you know, these type of shoes for him to wear in the shower um, if he wants to take a shower there. I'm debating if I should throw in a pair of my slippers. I have non-stick socks that I'll show in a minute, but I don't know. Do you think slippers are necessary? Let me know down below. I'm, I'm debating that one. Um, and then for him, I have just a couple of t-shirts just in case. And then I have a handful of nursing pads. Again, the hospital probably provides these, but I just thought it would be nice to have my own just in case. And then for the shower, I have a couple of washcloths that we can use. I really didn't want to use the hospital's washcloth, so I thought that we would bring our own. And then as far as like um, undergarment type things, these are my non-slip socks that I have. Uh, my mom just ordered these off Amazon. Um, they're called yoga socks, and they're just the little ankle socks, but they have the little beads at the bottom, so I have two pairs of those. I have a bunch of just huge uh, granny panties. Um, I got a big pack from Target, so I have a bunch of those packed. I don't think I'll wear socks, but I'm bringing a pair of big fuzzy socks and then just a couple pair of normal socks just in case. And then for my husband, I just have a couple um, pairs of socks and a couple pair of his uh, boxers in here as well. All right, so that's it for the clothes stuff. And then I do have a toiletry bag packed full. This bag is from Target. It's by Sony Kashuk. I absolutely love this bag. Um, it's just like the perfect size. The print's really cute. I don't think they still have this like exact print because I got it a few years ago but they always have like these type of bags at Target in the Sony Kashuk section so definitely check there. So this first zippered pocket has just a big empty pocket right here which I don't have anything in and then it has two clear um, little zippered bags that velcro in and out. So in these bags I just have some travel toothbrushes, toothpaste, I have a couple things of chapsticks, lotion, mouthwash, and um, makeup remover wipes. In the other bag is kind of like the hair stuff. I have a headband. I thought that would be really nice in labor to just get my hair like totally out of my face. I have a bunch of bobby pins and hair ties and then I also have some dry shampoo. And then in the other zippered compartment here opens up like this. So this side is just a clear zippered pocket and then this side is great for brushes and there's a zippered pocket behind that as well. I am taking some makeup. I went back and forth if I thought that this was really necessary or not, but after thinking about it, I mean, I just, makeup really helps me feel human. So, you know, for going home and for pictures and stuff, I just thought it would be nice to have a little bit of makeup. So I didn't go overboard. I'll show you guys what I did end up packing for makeup. I just have a small tart brush, brush, blush. I have a small uh, moisturizing face primer. I have the Wet n Wild Contour Duo, so just like a bronzer and a setting powder. I have a mascara, a brow pencil, a concealer, and then just a skin tint. So I didn't go overboard on the makeup, but I wanted a few things that's gonna help me feel human again and just make me look a little bit nicer. And then I'm only bringing three brushes, just a bronzer brush, a blush brush, and then a, um, a um, setting powder brush. And then in the zippered pocket behind the brushes here, I have, um, deodorant for me and for him. I have a shampoo and conditioner for me. I don't plan on washing my hair. Um, I definitely plan on showering, but if I'm only there for one night, I really don't think I'm gonna wash my hair. That's why I got the dry shampoo in there. But I mean, just in case something does happen, I happen to have a cesarean and I'm there for three nights. I'm definitely gonna wanna wash my hair. So I did throw in shampoo 
and um, body wash for me and for my husband. So we do have the options to take a shower if we want to. All right, so that is everything I have packed in me and my husband's duffel. Again, if I left anything out that you think I'm really gonna want um, at the hospital, please, please leave it in the comments down below. So now we'll go ahead and jump into what I packed for baby. So the first thing I'm bringing that I can't fit in baby's bag is the boppy. Um, I've heard that this is really nice for, you know, just trying to breastfeed in those first, you know, a um, couple hours there so I really wanted to bring the boppy this is what mine looks like I absolutely love this cover I think it is so so cute so I'm definitely bringing that guy and then this is the bag that I have all the baby stuff in this is gonna be his diaper bag as well this is the jujube uh, BFF bag I believe I did when I first got this like open it up talked about like all the pockets in here and you know all the um cool stuff about this bag. Did it a really long time ago. If you want to see that video, um, I'll link it down below. Um, but it is all packed for the hospital. I will do a, like, a normal what's in my diaper bag bag once I get all the hospital stuff out because, I mean, I know it's going to change. This isn't how it's normally going to be packed. Um, but anyways, diving in. So on the side here, I just have one of those little like pacifier pod type things with a passy. This one I think is by Tommy Tippy, I believe. And then I also have a really cute little pacifier clip. Um, so I just have those chilling in the pacifier pod here on the side of the bag. I don't have anything in this pocket. On this pocket on the other side, um, this again is probably unnecessary. I'm bringing a little toy. Um, I know he's not probably going to be able to use this or anything like that, but our hospital is about an hour away, so coming home, he's going to be in the car for an hour, so I thought it'd just be nice to have something to you know, kind of like distract him and I don't know. I just thought it might be handy. So I threw that in there. It didn't take up much space. So going into this front pocket here, this is normally the mommy pocket, but I have just a bunch of stuff in here for the hospital. The first thing is the Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Nipple Butter. That is obviously for me. I threw it in the diaper bag though for some reason. I'm also taking a little Wubba Nub. This is the dinosaur one. So, so cute. Definitely probably will not be using this, but I threw it in just in case. I have a travel size of the butt paste, and then I also have a travel size Baby Ganics hand sanitizer. So going into the main compartment, I don't have anything in this small compartment here. So we're just gonna start diving into the main compartment here. The first thing I have on top is a swaddle blanket, but I'm actually going to be using this as my nursing cover. Nursing covers are like $25 to $30, which is really expensive in my opinion. So um, I have so many Aiden and I swaddle blankets. I was like, these are big enough. So I just took two corners, I tied them together, and I figure I can just throw this over me and this can be my nursing cover. So that's what I'm planning to do with this. I hope that it works. I think it will, um, but I'm taking that to use as a nursing cover. Now, as far as clothes, unfortunately, the doctor is predicting I'm gonna have about a 10 pound baby. So I don't know if he's gonna fit into newborn clothes. So I packed both newborn and zero to three months because I just, don't know. He might be too big for newborn. So I wanted to be prepared and bring both sizes. So for newborn clothes, I just have a pair of pants. I also have a little long sleeved onesie. I have a little sleeper with a raccoon on it. I love this sleeper. And then as far as his going home outfit, um, if he fits into newborn, this is going to be his going home outfit. I really hope he can fit into this because it's so, so cute. But it's just like a little sleeper. It's really comfortable and soft, but, you know, it's a little extra fancy. So hopefully he can fit in that to go home in. We'll see. And then for zero to three months, 
Again, I just have a pair of pants. I have a long sleeved onesie, a sleeper, and then this will be his going home outfit if he's too big for the newborn. Just a little sleeper, but it says, hello, I'm new here. So I really like that one. And then I have two more swaddle blankets that will actually be used to swaddle. So I have this one with the little foxes on it. And then I have this one with little dinos on it. And both of those are Aiden and I. I have two burp cloths packed. Not sure that I'll use them, but I just thought I'd throw them in just in case. So I have this one with little sports balls on it. And then I have this Aiden and I one um, with little hippos on it. There is a photographer that comes in and takes pictures right after he's born, so I just have one little special outfit for um, pictures. I have this little uh, football diaper cover, which is really cute. If he's big, actually, I don't know if he's going to be able to fit in this. It says zero to six months, but this kind of looks small. I don't know. We'll see if he'll fit in that. And then he has a little hat as well that matches. So those will be for newborn pictures. I also have a thing of wipes. Again, I know that the hospital provides those, but um, like I said, the drive home is an hour. So, you know, stuff happens. So I just want to be prepared. And then I have a few diapers as well. I'm also bringing these pacifier wipes just to have on hand. Then I have two hats. These are the hats with the little things on the top. I absolutely love these hats. So this one is going to go with his newborn outfit if he fits into that for the ride home. And then the gray one is going to go with the zero to three month outfit for the ride home depending on what he fits in. And then lastly, I just have two pairs of mittens, a blue pair and a gray pair. And then I have three pairs of socks just in case. And I think, yes, that is everything. So again, if you notice anything I missed that I'm gonna want for me or my husband or for a baby, please leave it in the comments below. Um, but I think that's all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.